Hello everyone, my name is Chris Healy. I'm the Executive Director of the Connecticut Catholic Conference. We wanted to bring you an update here from the state legislature here in Hartford, where my colleague Ann LaMonica and I wanted to bring you up to date on a recent piece of legislation that we were able to uh, craft uh, that will restore essential health care services uh, for our parochial Catholic schools. Ann is the Director of our Educational Services. And Ann, uh, tell us a little bit about what happened as the new budget came out this year when we were uh, and saw the concern about uh, lack of funding for our nursing services. Well, um, we took a look at the governor's budget and um, we noticed section one had a provision that would put the state's portion of the funding for our school services, our health services, onto our schools. And um, that would have affected our schools in the cities the most because it's put on a, it's funded on a um, weighted scale uh, based on wealth. So our schools in Waterbury, Bridgeport, New Haven, all would have had to pay more um, for their health services by the schools themselves, not through the state. Um, the town would have to chip in more um, if they could negotiate that. So it was really, um, it was really not a good thing for our schools. And unprecedented. For almost yeah. 60 years, uh, the state has met this commitment uh, to provide funding for these schools, to provide nursing services to make sure our, our kids are healthy uh, in compliance with all the health issues that are that are so dramatic these days. Uh, but thanks to Ann and uh, so many several legislators, which we'll, we'll thank in a second, uh, we were able to alter that bill in the Education Committee, and now that funding has been restored uh, right. so that we know that our schools are going to be, you know, uh, properly man with the people in public health care services that they need. And that also covered uh, occupational therapy and speech therapy for our students, which Just is a critical. critical. Very critical to providing the full a complement of educational services yes. that our students and parents expect. Uh, a couple of people that we think we should thank uh, are Senator McGrory, Senator Austin, uh, Re Representative McCl McClarty, uh, and Representative Bobby Sanchez, who the, are the chairs of the Education Committee, were very helpful to us. And many legislators, as you know, when we brought this to their attention, uh, were more than eager to help. Yes, um, almost all of them were. And they responded to our parents' letters and calls, which was very helpful. I just want to make a final comment on that to use to those of you out there who did respond to Ann's emails and the calls that we made. Those calls, emails, and outreach to these legislators here in this building uh, made the difference, allowed us to restore that funding, and allowed us uh, to be successful on your behalf. Uh, working together, there are many things we can accomplish for people of the Catholic faith, and we're honored to do that here for you every day.